Got a killer idea but need total control over how it looks? Omni Reference in Mid Journey V7 lets you use any image as the foundation. For example, here's a photo of me that I used to create these images with the OREF parameter. This is useful because you can shape your vision exactly the way you want. I'll show you how to master it, fine tune your prompts, and get pro results. Let's dive in. First, what is an Omni Reference? Omni Reference or OREF lets you use any image as the base of your idea, drop in a character, object, vehicle, anything, and Mid Journey can build your scene around it. This keeps your subject consistent and clear, no matter what style or setting you choose. It replaces the old C ref, which is the character reference, and does a lot more, giving you stronger control over how your reference image shapes the final results. It's available in version 7 only and doesn't work currently with end painting or very region yet. Plus, you'll need to be in relaxed mode. Fast draft and conversational modes aren't supported yet as well. Bottom line, Omni Reference gives you full control to anchor your idea with a real image, so you're not leaving everything up to chance. So let's quickly walk through how to use the Omni Reference. First, you're going to want to upload your image. On the Mid Journey website, just click the image icon and go to your hard drive and upload an image that you can use. And here we're going to use something that we created already, which is a Viking. And we just drag and drop over to the Omni Reference section. You can pin this right here, uh, which is clicking the lock icon. That way it stays put until you remove it. To swap or remove the image, just hover over it and click the X icon to take it out. But we don't want to do that because we want to use it. Next is the Omni Reference Weight Slider, which is this little thing right here. This controls how much influence your reference image has over their final result. You see the slider right next to the Imagine Bar. This is set between zero and a thousand. The higher the number, the stronger the image influence. I'll explain how to dial that in later, but now you know where to find it. All right, let's talk best practices. First, don't just drop an image and expect magic. You still need a strong text prompt to tell Midjourney exactly what you want. The image sets the foundation, but your text shapes everything around it. So let me show you how that works, is we've got an image of a Viking. So we're gonna say Viking, but we're gonna make this a photograph and we're gonna do a corporate photography style, CEO type photography, ISO 100. And uh, like anything, I'm gonna wanna keep the Omni reference. So what we do is we do a style weight, which is OW, and we're just gonna say 80. And we keep that low to keep it just like the image. And then also I'm gonna change the aspect ratio to more of a portrait. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, stylization, which is the amount of creativity we're doing at 100. And we're also gonna do the repeat command because I like to create a lot of images at once. Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna create a whole bunch of images that are using this Viking as the place to start. And by the way, if you're used to uh, things doing really fast because you've got turbo, the problem with that now is right now, uh, it does it at normal uh, speeds. So if you're used to things going a little quickly, uh, it doesn't do that much right now with Omni Reference, but it will, will soon. All right, so we had a painting, right? That we used as a, a reference tool. Let me, let me just enlarge that so you can see it. Here's our painting kind of a, 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 a old fashioned master's oil painting style. And then here are our images that we created using our CEO portrait photography style. And as you can see, it's the same guy throughout. The great thing about this is that the style reinforces locks in exactly what you're after 
but you can switch this up and instead of corporate photography style, why don't we go ahead and say high contrast side lighting, loose watercolor portrait, pastels, and let's do this on a light sage green background. Everything else is the same. And here we go. Now we're going to get the same Viking. By the way, this could be anything that you're doing, but it's going to use a Viking as our subject. So what's going to happen is we're going to get a totally different art style with the same subject, super easy, and it's going to look like the same guy because this is how the Omni reference works. Amazing. So let's be realistic about results. Tiny stuff like freckles or logos might not carry over perfectly, so don't expect pixel level accuracy. This goes with clothing patterns or jewelry. It could be slightly different, so don't get too worked up about that. It's just not gonna do it, right? And finally, for full creative control, you could also apply SREF codes or mood boards or whatever you want to enhance what you're doing. And uh, that's how you can get pro level results. All right, so let's talk about some common issues. First, uh, you know, your whatever you're prompting, right, might get blocked when you use OmniReference. It's a new tool and they're kind of worried about it. So don't stress. If you do get blocked or some prompt comes up, uh, you're not gonna lose credits or anything. Just Rework your prompt until you get what you want. And secondly, uh, if you don't get the results that you want, you might want to check your Omni style weight. Uh, this is, if it's too high, your image might overpower the prompt. So try lowering the weight and be super clear in your text. And let's just go ahead and run some uh, Omni weights that are a little higher, right? And we can do this with the power permutation, right? So we're going to do one at 40, we'll do one at 400, and we'll do one at 1,000 just to show you. So here's 40, here's 400, and here's 1,000. Notice the art's a little different. Things are just slightly different between these, but it's the same guy. Uh, so you might want to experiment with this just to see kind of what you get. Last point I want to make here is that the Omni reference only takes one image. You know, your other image prompts and style references, you can have multiple images here, but this only uses one image here. So if you're trying to get uh, something super complex, maybe it's got a lot of people, you might want to put an image with all the people in it to see what you get. Uh, you're going to have to play around with it and have some fun. So this is really great to keep a character consistent across multiple scenes, which is perfect for comics, children's books, or even brand mascots. It's also great for dropping in product shots into stylized settings for killer marketing images. How about building custom merch mock-ups, like putting your own designs on shirts, hats, or packaging? And finally, you can maybe try it with creating a custom pattern and apply it to products to iterate or create a brand merch line. Basically, you've got a clear subject and a big idea. Omni Reference gives you the control to pull it off. Now it's your turn. What's the first thing you're going to test with Omni Reference? Drop it in the comments. And if this helped, hit like and subscribe for more Mid Journey tips. Check the links below for deep dives on style references and mood boards. See you next time.